Howdy folks, it is your man Paul Gonzalez coming at you live and direct from the heart of Las Vegas in the beautiful 18B Arts District. Now more importantly, where are we? The For The Culture headquarters, right? So I don't know if I've shown this on the channel yet, but we've been here for one month now, right? So today is July 1, we moved in on June 1 and started this whole little journey, right? That is um, the For The Culture headquarters. But we made some aprons. Yours truly got down on the apron game. You want an FTC apron? Hit me up, I got them, we got them. Other than that, we had some other cool merch coming, such as the For The Culture t-shirts. And then we got the not good stuff in here. We've got, got some more crazy not good stuff going on in here the 101s you know really special stuff and then over here boom Frank Wumbo built that he planned this whole thing out you know how genius and then he built us these beautiful little uh counter I don't know I don't know counters or whatever they are made out of blue pine right how special is that blue pine so then we We've been working on that, just getting the shop ready. When we came here, it was nothing more than a white room, right? A white room and air conditioning. But now that we're here for the culture has done its thing and it's starting to look really, really beautiful, you know, and the, um, the paint, right? So it was white before and we were going through this color palette book of uh, different like interior spaces, right? And just looking at different color palette possibilities. And we decided on a nice green and red, you know, this was more of Frank and Numb School. We had the general idea, we want a green, we want a red. I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't so much like, let's go extreme like this. But now that we did it, I am really happy with how it turned out. And it's really incredible, a little bit more showing stuff off here. We got Frank's counter that he built us. Geometrics, as is the usual Frank style. Nice little front right here. Goes with the color scheme. Absolutely great work by Papa Frank move on out here we got the doors and boom it is right now our work area we have these different panels along the wall right and on these panels is going to be different artists right here up front you got numbskull frank and then one of numbskull's friends and a guy that just stopped by one of the ogs of vegas and a brian the lion piece up here there's probably going to be some esoc there's going to be some I don't know. Well, there's a few different people, right? And as right now, it's kind of first come, first serve. Let's see who gets the last spaces in the For the Culture headquarters inaugural, you know, mural setup, right? But that's all been really exciting. And I've been working really hard on the whole For the Culture thing, you know, building out the shop, building out the products. Um, even deeper than that is the media that we've been putting out, right? So the media team as it stands currently is Royal Orange, uh, CRC Productions and HME Productions by Man Huff, right? Um, and even to go a little bit farther than that, we have an articulate, cl articulate clutter, uh, also known as Patricio, who is doing some really awesome writing and interviews with us, right? Now, what I really like about Patricio is he's got like this vagabond style, right? Like it, it's almost like if Bob Dylan was born and 19 years old right now, that's, that's what he would look like. So Patricio, he is very, um, very powerful when it comes to English. He's into philosophies. He's into like all that OG beatnik stuff and you know, the goods, right? The goods. So he's creating more of like these, these interviews that aren't so punchy. They aren't so business oriented. You know, who are you? What do you do? He is going more to the truth right now he's just trying to draw some information out of people no specific focus other than just get his perspective right so patricio he's been doing some really great work roy has been doing incredible work organizing this whole system with me and you know it's been kind of hard we've been at it can't even believe it seven months now you know just building out the plans for the media dropping initial medias uh now we're sitting on an absolute ton ton of media we have video we have you know written pieces photo <sighs> live sessions field recording so much in the chamber and uh so much still coming right so today's july 1 tomorrow we've got ride and dirties um private dj turntable open deck night right so that's gonna be thursday july 2 
and then July 4 we're gonna have a um, sort of an unofficial opening you know we're not we're not gonna be really open all the way to the public but it's gonna be a start right we're gonna get some people in here we're gonna cook some dogs we're gonna have Lindsay sounds and for sure I think long hair Eric playing on the ones and twos and maybe a couple more DJs have some fun right so that's gonna be the 4th of July and it's a really exciting thing for one because I love 4th of July and for two for the culture is becoming a little bit more open. You know, the space that we've had here, we've worked really hard, literally every day, right? So I've been here every day, Numbskull's been here every day, and um, a few other members of the team have been here just about every day, I would say like 85% amount of time they're here, right, of, of the days. And, um, you know, that's been really special. It's been really special seeing, I guess, the team effort and the general team spirit, right? It's nobody falling behind, everybody is really pushing themselves the ideas and the actual creations while working with for the culture to the next level you know a lot of it is um it's much more than I could have ever asked for right and for that I'm a lucky guy I'm a lucky guy to have such incredible people around me I mean look at this look at this you know this is numbskull right here absolutely incredible at numbskull on Instagram and I guess other than that what's been going on I've been working really really hard you know for the culture has taken up like huge chunk of my life and the rest of my life is going towards clients we've been doing some research type stuff i have been working with one of my very dear friends uh kellen kellen croston up in oregon went to high school together absolute genius mind blowing mind blowing how smart this kid is right now we've been doing some work together and very unfortunately kellen well fortunately kellen is a climbing instructor un instructor unfortunately he took a little bit of a dive, right? And um, so he hurt, his, he hurt his back a little bit and he's on bed rest, but luckily he's gonna make a full recovery and all that really awesome stuff. So I've been working with Kellen a lot lately and I'm really excited to see how that keeps going, you know, as more and more work keeps coming in, I got a lot to do and I know that I can rely on Kellen to do some absolutely incredible work, right? So that's what's been going on there. We got some website stuff. I'm building out a website for CRC Productions. Finished up Marco's EPK, but uh, we gotta make some additions to it, right? We gotta really take it to the next level because maybe some next level people might end up seeing it, right? So we got those web projects going on. I've been getting a bit more into uh, scraping, you know, data. I for the past month, in addition to the For the Culture building this out, I've been learning a lot about Jamstack and Gatsby and um, building websites like that. And it's really, really different to build websites with that technology compared to like a more traditional sense, which I'm used to. Like I learned with straight markup, HTML and CSS, and then I moved into uh, like a WordPress, you know, a few years later, and that was like four years ago. And then from there, I tried like every site builder. One of my favorites is Card, you know, um, C A R R D dot co, one of the absolute best web builders on the internet, and all those things are great. But this Jamstack and the the Gatsby and these underlying like JavaScript technologies to create these, uh, you know, you can't call them serverless, but you know, semi-serverless and extremely fast websites. You know, it's it's truly the next generation technology for the internet and for Paul Gonzalez's you know web development little operation, right? I see it as um, I see it as the next next necessity, the next frontier. So I'm really excited to get involved with that and to go along with it. You know, I've I've learned about the Node Packet Manager, right? Like, so coming from a place like WordPress, where it's like a, a GUI and you you know you're you're installing your plugins and it you can go deep code if you want, but the GUI is there. All the way to something is like I don't want to call it primitive, but it feels almost that way when you're installing libraries and whatnot through the NPM and you know you got to open PowerShell and then you got to install Node and then from there you can get all the other stuff. It's just, it's just a little bit weird, you know, and I'm, I'm sure for a lot of normal developers they came up in a more code oriented environment and that's nothing to them, right? But from where I'm coming from, it's a very, very new way to build websites and it's exciting. You know, at this point it makes complete perfect sense. I don't have any qualms with it. I'm, I'm mainly, fumbling with the logic, you know, cause I'm not the deepest into JavaScript. So I'm having to read a lot of the JavaScript docs and the docs for these different libraries like Node um, to understand what's really going on in the back end. 
and from there, you know, more and more stuff's coming. But one of the exciting things that I have been looking into is a web scraper uh, system, mainly for uh, mainly for like simple sites, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too huge, and that would be um, its request, you know, the request. I don't even know what it's called, you know, request library, you know, MPMI request and Cheerio, the Cheerio uh, library, right? And what that basically allows you to do is like a super, super easy way to request and get the HTML, you know, the markup from a website and to navigate, to navigate the actual structure of the site using, you know, different H1s or classes or parents or childs or whatever it may be to then extract the data out of wherever, whatever web thing you're trying to get, right? And the really cool thing is, is if you find something that goes with a structure, like most like truly true businesses do, like let's call it a guitar center, right? They have a structure in how they name their title and the product name and the, the image, right? So they'll have a class for that. Like, uh, like with guitar center will be like, you know, like maybe brand dot brand uppercase name, something like that. So you can pull brand name from from this page, right, this HTML document that loads in and then spit it out uh, into a normal array or you can bring it into a CSV or you can use it as a data for something else. I'm interested in using it as data to then feed into chart.js and create some interesting different like charts and infographics on the web, right? But that's the rundown with the Cheerio stuff and the Cheerio stuff's really powerful. You know, I've been I've been learning about the scraping for like, I don't know, two to three months now, right? And within the past few days, I've really decided like, hey, yeah, you know, let's build something, right? Let's build a scraper, never did it, always wanted to do it. And I have found the request and Cheerio way to maybe be the best. I'm considering um, Cheerio and Axios. It seems a little bit more complex and it seems a little bit better tooled for, you know, big, big projects, right? But I would say, you know, that is the full Paul Gonzalez update on July 1, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be alive, whole lot going on, planning out uh, maybe a trip to Portland sometimes this month. We're going to have to see. But other than that, God bless you folks. It's your man in the trenches. Hope the best for you. Paul Gonzalez.